Hello and well, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. We're looking at another Asus with a Duff LCD today. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this one is that it's another diagnosis example in that um, uh, this one has a failed backlight. So if I switch this on, I'm going to spam the F2 key to get into setup, or what I believe to be setup. Now what we'll do is if I show you very carefully, it may appear that there's no display output at all, even though the computer is switched on. You may also notice that there is signs of startup. But um, if we go to look really closely, there it is, you can see that text on the screen there. We're in setup at the moment, and you can just faintly see the setup in the background. But because there's no backlight, you can't see any of it. But that little indicator shows us that the laptop is working. So what we're going to do now, the issue is that when you're faced with no backlight, um, it could either be a couple of things. Normally on an older laptop, it would be the panel the inverter or the cable, or in very, very rare cases, the motherboard. However, this is a modern laptop. We use LED backlights now. They don't, they don't have inverters anymore because there's no high voltage CCFL. Um, so, what it's very un so there's no inverter for it to be that. And LED panels, by and large, the LED backlight doesn't really fail, or at least I've never seen it fail before. So, obviously, I'm not used to seeing this fault on a modern screen. So, I'm going to plug another one in and see what comes up. So let's start off by removing the existing panel, then we'll plug in the test panel and see what appears. Now to get to the screws, I'm just going to use a Stanley blade to take these covers off. And then we'll get out the double O screwdriver onto those screws. Now we use the good old fashioned nails and just pull this thing apart. I'm just moving the plastic up and down to defeat the clips. I have a habit of making this look very easy, however, there's a knack to it that comes with experience of just knowing exactly how much force you can get away with. So take it easy, and if you're not sure, just use a prime tool around the edge. There we go. Okay, this is what's called a razor panel. It has no metal edge to it. It's just taped around the sides. Uh, these panels tend to be more fragile than the average one, which is, might explain why we're having problems with it. So let's just take the four screws that are holding it in out, which are in the corners, there, 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 and there. across the tape holding that connector on there and pull that out. All right, I'm being a little bit careful just because this panel might not be broken. So we'll lay him to one side and I'll just grab my test panel. This one is not a razor panel, however, the connector is not the same either, I don't think. Let me just try that. I can't tell there actually. I oh, know it is the same. I know there are. Whoops, hello, we turned on. I left that switched on, my bad. Okay, well, I mean, you can see the panel has lit up immediately. And we've got a picture as well. Ignore these marks. This is uh, a, my testing panel. I'm aware of this. However, as you can see, we've got backlight and picture there. So that confirms that the panel is faulty. So we need a new panel. Right. I'm going to go and raid my back room and just see if I've actually got one. If not, we'll be putting one of those on order. No, I do not have one. So, I'll see you in part two. Okay, we're back and we've got a replacement panel now. So, 
this is just simply a matter of plugging it in and screwing everything back together. Okay, there we go. We've now got a working backlight. So we can go ahead and put that bezel back on. There we go, and we're finished. Right, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.